Hello, my name is Stephanie and today I have another box of jewelry to open from shopgoodwill.com. This box came from Texas. It weighs 17.6 pounds and for this box I paid $73. After the shipping and handling and taxes, the total came out to $95.41. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the necklace, and these are plastic beads. It looks like they are um, meant to look like amber, maybe. It has this lobster claw clasp. It is broken, but I think we can easily attach that back together. Okay, here's a bangle bracelet. This is a uh, like a brass tone with some black enameling. I don't see any marks in there. This is a necklace, multi strand. There's a little tag here that says crystal. And yeah, there is another jewelry tag on here. Okay, that one says, looks like that one says Graziano CN. And I think that also says Graziano around, around that circle. These are some nice beads, some faceted beads, kind of look like disco balls. Okay, here's another necklace. This one has a toggle clasp little heart and these are cold I believe they are stones um, possibly Jasper it's a nice large stone here and it looks like this could have been homemade um, you can see the way it's made here I guess it's supposed to be asymmetrical. The so clasp is here and then so many of these large stones on one side. Um, but this is pretty nice. Okay, here's another necklace. I'm not sure what this is here. I'm what kind of material this is or if it uh, something might have fallen out of it heart with some rhinestones, faux pearls, and it looks like the clasp is missing from this as well. It's another necklace with a toggle clasp, and again this might have been um, a homemade necklace these glass beads. It's a nice color. Okay, these are plastic beads. It's like multi-strand necklace. Let me see if I can find how it goes. A little bit tangled but you can see how it goes multi-strand and okay there's earrings attached to here that might be why it's tangled up this is some earrings attached to it so a matching set okay, 
And here is a necklace with some glass beads and this wood pendant. Pretty nice. And the closure is this wood button. And this is another stone necklace, it's very cold. I'm not sure what type of stones these are. It has a tassel here. And I don't see a clasp on here, just one long infinity necklace. Here's a clamper bracelet, silver tone. I don't see any marks in that. Okay. Here's another necklace. This one I think it could be maybe ceramic beads. Very large statement necklace. Kind of has a southwest look to it. And here's the clasp, a lobster claw clasp, and no tags on this. Let's see the back. Maybe there's a mark here. There's kind of a design. I'm not sure if that's a maker's mark or just a, a floral design. You can also see how it was put together with the wire. There's a pendant on a suede braided cord. These are some really pretty colors with the rhinestones. I do see there's a few missing here. There's a lot missing. This is um, it's a necklace. Could be a belt. It's kind of long. It has this large silver tone links. And also this clasp. Here's a necklace on a suede cord, lobster claw clasp, and these are some, I guess these are crystal beads with the AB finish. Here's a bracelet. Silver tone looks like this is supposed to be an angel. The word faith. And there's a little heart back here. But I don't see any other maker's mark. It is um, has a lot of finish coming off back here. You can see the copper coming out. Okay, this looks like a lanyard, maybe for your keys. And a wooden necklace. Looks like this is maybe a promotional um, necklace for the Dos Equis. Another necklace with some faux pearls. And this is one long, long strand of beads. 
don't see any marks on that. It's a bangle bracelet. This is a very heavy necklace, some tassels, and this is like a double chain, something like that. This is a very heavy necklace. Um, I don't see any marks on that. I'm really surprised there's no marks on it. Bracelet, memory wire. Okay, necklace with a rhinestone pendant. And I think, yeah, I think I see a couple of them missing back here. There's no marks on this. Okay, this is another silver tone necklace. These are plastic cabochons. Need to look like stone. Some tassels. And this one also kind of has a southwest look to it. There is a tag on here. This is Charlotte Ruth. Well, it looks like it is broken right here, but I think um, that's just the jump ring. Could just attach that back together. Another earring and a wooden necklace, long tassel, some beads. Here's another necklace that also has like a southwest look to it. Different charms. necklace has a hook for a closure um this one oh god this hair okay this one also looks like um could have been homemade see the wires coming out um these are nice beads they're glass beads some faux pearls in different colors A necklace with some plastic beads and there's a tag on this one that says NY and this is a very lightweight necklace Another beaded necklace. This one has some turquoise looking stones. This could be dyed halite or dyed magnesite. I'm not sure which one. I could 
see that it is fading, the color is fading on it. And these also look like they might be stone chips and then some glass beads. Another necklace with a tassel. Looks like these are beads with some sort of like stacking spacers in between. This multi strand chain. Actually, there's a chain, and then this is kind of like a fabric. I'm not sure what you would call this. We have the clasp and no other marks on that. Another heavy necklace. Where is this a necklace? Let's see, here's the clasp. Okay. So here's the clasp, multi-strand, and the pendant. It is kind of tangled up, but let's see how it goes. There is a missing rhinestone here. Actually, I'm not really sure how this goes because it's... Okay, there we go. There's two pieces. So something like this. And so there's two missing rhinestones here. Okay, here's a necklace. Looks like it might be broken, missing. I don't know if you could just attach this together. Gold tone with some beads. Here's a stretchy bracelet, and it is a lot of wear on this. This is faith, hope, love. a necklace, gold tone. There's a circle with some rhinestones. There's a lobster claw clasp and I don't see any marks on this. Is this the extender? This is pretty neat. You can extend it. extend it or shorten it using that. That's really neat. Okay. Oh, here's um, another, I guess it's part of this necklace. It's broken off. And this is a Faux pearl necklace. Where is the tag on here? Okay, and that says Monet. This one also looks like it's broken. Oh, oh it's not broken, just has the jump ring here and the clasp on this side. And there's also some marks right here on this clasp. Um, I believe it says, yeah, it also says Monet on it. It's really tiny, so it's hard to read on the camera. 
And then this side looks like something else. It's a PA, it could be patent. I'm not really sure. Here's another necklace. This one is, okay, there's a tag here that says Express. There's a clasp here, and let's try to find the other end somewhere around here. Just a multi strand chain necklace. Not really sure what this is. It might be a necklace that is broken. There's no clasp on it. It is um, very lightweight, like almost a mesh chain. Another necklace. This gold tone with some gold tone beads. Has a lot of wear on it. There's a clasp. Okay, another necklace, gold tone. Oh, there's a tag there. That say looks like two B's like back to back. Or maybe I'm not really sure. Anything on this side? No. And this is a faux druzy. It's turning green right there. That's like made of um resin. Okay, another necklace. Some flowers, bronze tone. And I'm not sure how this goes, but the clasp is back here. So probably something like this. It hangs down in layers. Very long necklace. Okay, this is a bracelet. Lobster claw clasp and some stars. Rhinestones. Okay, here's another bracelet with some rhinestones. Stretchy bracelet. And these are pretty colors. It's like a very light blue, green, and yellow. I'm not sure if you're seeing that on the camera, but. And these are really nice colors. It looks like it's still in pretty good condition. Maybe just a little bit of wear on it. Okay. And this looks like a necklace. It's multi-strand with some seed beads. It is really misshapen. I'm not sure if this is um, able to be fixed back into a necklace, but okay, here's another necklace, and this one has some green dyed shells, green and yellow. Clasp here. And also some glass beads. And these are like sequins. 
little pieces of just like plastic sequins. Okay, stretchy bracelet. There's a tag here. That says um, AC. I'm not sure I don't recognize that. Um, this has a lot of wear on it. You could see all the beads have um, the finish coming off. Here's a necklace, looks like this is um, maybe like a faux leather, it has a really large pendant. Pendant is actually in pretty good shape, doesn't have a lot of wear on it. I don't see any tags on this. Okay, here's the necklace. Silver tongue. Has this lobster claw clasp. And this is pretty nice. It has these chains coming down. Still in pretty good condition too. Very heavy again. Okay, here's a cuff bracelet. Some leaves, gold tone. Looks like it might be missing some leaves here. Also maybe right here. Here's a beaded necklace that has a barrel clasp. These are cold beads. I believe they are hematite. Here's another necklace. These are plastic beads, cute little hearts. Has a hook for a closure and looks like there's a tag. That says casual corner. Okay, there's a tiara. Looks like a flower girl, like headpiece. I guess it's considered jewelry. Still actually in pretty good condition. Doesn't have any wear on it at all. And as far as I could see, I think all the rhinestones are still in it as well. Here is another necklace. This one is silver tone with some, I think these are plastic, but they kind of look like they're shells. Also some rhinestones with the AB finish. I think these, 
this one really does look like a shell, so maybe they are. But they feel very lightweight to me, so I'm not sure. Is yes, this is a necklace? And this one is heavy, long, long tassel chains. Looks like they're tangled up. And I don't see any marks on this. Still in really good condition, I guess, if you get it untangled. I'll use it. Okay, this looks like it could be a belt. Probably a belt. on a wire, some multi-tone pendant. There's a lot of wear on this. And I don't see any tag on this. Okay, here's another necklace. And again, this is on a wire. It's a little bit out. Um, stretched or maybe misshapen, but let's see, it has plastic beads. The colors are really pretty on this. This clasp has a lot of wear on it. Don't see any marks on that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. We'll go ahead and continue on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.